Protecting children from unnecessary risks of danger is something that parents regularly worry about. CHI Health Mercy Hospital hosts its informational event to help parents make educated decisions. September 25th, the hospital hosts a family health and safety day in their parking lot. Medication safety, concussions, sport injuries and more are all part of the event. We started it as more, more kid focused and we've developed it to be more family focused so there's something uh, really for everyone. Car seat safety checks and alcohol impairment simulation also help attendees learn more about the dangers presented from vehicles. Put on your blue suede shoes because Elvis is back. On Sunday, September 25th, Joseph Hall hits the stage at the center in Council Bluffs to perform some of Elvis's greatest hits. Complete with costumes and the best of Elvis dance moves, you'll be all shook up watching the show. Well, this show appeals to all ages, young, old, and the young at heart. And, uh, you know, we go, we go through three decades of Elvis music in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. We have a lot of energy. There's a lot of good energy that comes with the show. And, there's a, and it's a trip down memory lane, and it's a chance to create uh, new memories and new fans. And it's, it's a, lot of, a lot of great vibes. The show is one of many stops on Joseph's Rock and Roll Remember tribute. For more information on Joseph Hall and his upcoming shows, go to www.josephhallelvis.com. Iowa Western's Canesville Arena hosts the 18th annual Black Tie Harvest event on September 24th. This year's theme, Masquerade. The event serves as the school's largest fundraiser of the year with a silent auction accompanying a delicious meal. Each fall, Iowa Western presents the Investment in Excellence Award to a person or organization making a positive impact. This year's recipient, the Iowa West Foundation. Well, the Iowa West Foundation is uh, an Iowa nonprofit foundation, and uh, we've been in existence now for over 15 years. We started initially with uh, funding from the casinos. We've uh, grown through investments and through the years to the point where we have given away over $400 million in, in grants and initiatives. This year marks the first time that an organization and not a specific individual will receive the award in its 17-year history.